So Downmore 12 Sherry Cask Select. This came out about a year ago. Uh, it's a little bit different than its predecessor, being that this is 43% ABV and the last one was 40% ABV. So we're gonna review this one today to see if it's better than its predecessor. Stick around. Hey, thanks for sticking around guys. I'm Justin with Cask and Q. Before we get started, go ahead and like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Helps us out a lot, we appreciate it. Uh, this one's really promising, 43% ABV. Uh, you know, it still has the color additive that a lot of people complain about. Doesn't bother me, kind of, but I think it's a great introductory whiskey. So as I mentioned before, a lot of people don't like Downmore. The marketing, all the hype, the color additives, I get it. So let's get a pour and see what we think. So there's not much of a point in uh, taking a look at the color in the glass. I mean, it's so manufactured that uh, it just kind of takes the mystery away from it. So let's go to the nose. Oh yeah, that 43% makes a difference compared to that 40%. Definitely a lot of sherry. So this one has been aged in American oak casks and then finished in Pedro Jimenez and then in Oloroso sherry casks. That triple maturation really comes through. You pick up the oak, you pick up the sherry, the sweetness, the depth and flavor. I'm not really sure, you know, the difference between the Oloroso and the Jimenez, but you can tell there's some depth there for sure. Citrus notes, I don't know if it's like a lemon or a lime or maybe an orange or something like that. It's almost like citrus covered by chocolate. Uh, red berries, deep, rich, dark fruits. Um, it's, you know, it smells like a 12 year old scotch, like an entry level. For 75 bucks, that's not bad on the nose. Um, there's, a, there's no smokiness. You know, that's one of the things I can't stand when I hear people talk about, you know, that they can't stand scotch because of the smoke. There's no smoke in a space side like this. I mean, it's, it's just non-existent. Just sweet. Uh, I mean, the malty flavor is there for sure. I mean, that's scotch, right? I mean, it's not gonna be the same as bourbon, but when bourbon drinkers, I mean, I, I love bourbon. I review bourbon on this channel all the time. But when people say that I can't drink scotch because it tastes smoky, eh, hogwash. All right, let's go to the palate. Mm. Yeah, that's good. There's a little bit of hug there, that 43% makes a big difference. To me, it opens up the, the scotch. It provides an extra layer of flavor, or maybe it's just kind of intensifying the flavors that have always been there and it's just bringing them out more. I don't know, but there's a big difference between the 40 and the 43%. This 43%, it's really good. Let's give it another try. Hmm. Easy to drink, super approachable. So this is a great scotch for those that may have never had a scotch. I think this will be a really good introduction. So is the new Dalmore uh, Sherry Cask Select worth buying at 75 bucks? Yeah, I think it is. I think it's really good. So with that in mind, let's score it. We always go by availability, taste, and value. Availability, I think I've seen this in just about every uh, liquor store that I've been in in my market. Um, so, you know, the value on it, it's at 75 bucks and taste. I mean, it is delicious for a 12-year-old scotch, especially at the $75 price point. Are there better ones? Sure, I'm, I'm, not, gonna, I'm not here to argue that. There, there's better ones out there, but if you happen to like a balanced, easy to drink scotch that's you know heavily sherried, then this is a good choice. Overall score, I'm going seven and three quarters. I think this is a really good one. I think I would buy it again. Uh, if you have opposing views or if your views are like mine, then I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. And before you leave, go ahead and like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Thanks for stopping by Cask and Q, where whiskey and barbecue meet. We'll see you next time.